Hi guys, I hope you are hearing me okay and I hope the music isn't too too loud and you can hear me clearly. If you can't just uh, say it in the in the chat so I can adapt it. And when everything uh, is okay, let's just start by preparing uh, by preparing the scalping on this test account I have right here. So guys, I would like some input from you on the sound. Okay, great. So I'm here on uh, on a test account that I use for uh, implementing uh, strange ideas I have for trading, usually that uh, usually don't work, <laughs> and I scrap them. Uh, so today we are scalping. And uh, as I have told you uh, many times before, before we even start to think about trading, we need to know where we are on the map. And um, well, I have trading view right here, set up on different time frames. But uh, I will set the supports and resistances on the on the chart that we are going to use actively. Uh, so uh, right here I'm going to start by tracing the supports and resistances as you know many of you know how to trace them already but of course we need to do that so we'll stop we will start from the top to the bottom just tracing supports and resistances so the first resistance right here the second will be here let's see what we can find this is weak. This one is important. This one is weak. This one is weak. This one is weak. I will, I will draw an area right here because I think this is more of an area than a line. We'll remove this. Okay, so right now our channel is this one. We are on the 15 minute time frame. And uh, for now, I think this is enough. We can adapt after. Uh, let me just draw this one as a safety. Okay, so the price is expected to be in this range for now. Okay, so reject, kind of a base right here going down. Okay, so I will start adding small orders. I usually do it with another software that uh, I have already shown you. Uh, it's called ATAS Crypto. And basically, when you use that for scalping, you are so, so much faster, so much faster. But for this video, I will use the, the basic interface. I want you guys to get used to, to doing this kind of uh, set, setup before uh, starting to scalp. And then, of course, we can, uh, we can restart using ATAS together. It's free for crypto and it's an amazing tool that we can check together. Okay, so we have identified the ranges we are in right now. I have an area right here that I would really, really uh, like to use. So I would start by pressing, uh, posting um, a buy order right here. Uh, however, on the 15 minute time frame, if we are waiting to for the price to go uh, all the way down here, we are going to wait a lot of time. So I'm going to just I'll go to the five minute and see what's happening right here. Okay. I think I should have done this on uh, on my trading view because uh, doesn't seem to keep the the resistances I have already traced. So on the one minute we are sideways. Sideways. Okay. I'm just starting by 
by tracing raw uh, trend lines that I see and then I will uh, make them finer, of course. But yeah, as I said, I think... Uh, no, no, I can... I have them. Okay, so it was just a bug. Let me see if I can get this hard. Right here. And this here. And the position we will lose. We will leave the positions right here, it's okay. Okay. So we have the ranges. Let's go to the trading view chart for one second. And uh, we are going to just use this. Right here. Just still setting up my, uh, my workplace. Just wanted to go live sooner. Okay, so I am on Haken Ashi. I'm using my indicators. Okay. One minute too short. Let's go on the five minutes. Haken Ashi. Okay. So first entry, I will post it at around this level, so 40,098. And I am on a cross sign, on 50x, uh, let's move it up to 20. follow it so okay so I have the first one just find uh, some other local resistances should I short hmm. I don't know if I should short I don't know if I should short here on the five minute map I think I think it's a good starting point and right now we just need to wait a bit and see what happens uh, usually we should uh, normally we should reject here and uh, I should hit my first entry uh, kind of soon Let's see another one minute. so as you see I'm really really trying to use all the tools you have I'm really trying to do this uh, as simple as possible let's see what happens
right now I'm trying to figure out the potential moves that it can make and uh, I'm trying to um, use multiple time frames and see what fits and basically I see that right now I have another potential entry right here so for uh, 40,340 something so I'm gonna add another entry So I said 40,330-ish. <laughs> Thank you for adding it the first time, minus. <laughs> of course it can break, and if it does, we leave it. We leave it go up. The main uh, thing to do right now is to try to get the best entry possible. I'm not gonna change the price, don't ever do this. When you scalp, you don't change the price, you let the price come to you. And you need some patience. Hope you guys can hear me. I saw someone said uh, there's no audio. I didn't talk for a while. I was just, uh, I was just uh, uh, working on the charts. <coughs> Can you hear me? Right. In the meantime, while we are waiting for the price to go back to our levels, you guys can ask whatever you want related to, to the charts. I can answer in the meantime. Let's just use this time. Right now on the waves, we are just waiting for the red dot to appear. This would mean that the, the two uh, waves will be crossing. So if you read, uh, if you read um, the description for this indicator, you, you saw that these are basically two uh, types of indicators. One is leading and one is lagging. And basically by overposing them, uh, on each other we we try to get uh, like a present indication like now what's happening right now okay so ADA so uh, I'm just trying to, uh, to reply so how do I normally use my indicators so basically there are different types of strategies we use on our group we usually use the breakout strategy it is the most certain and it allows me to do something that is really really good for capital preservation it allows me to post trades in the future so for example I uh, I foresee a trade on the breakout and I place the entry right here that is why I uh, write or we write in the signals wait for entry it is for a good reason because we could very easily enter here but this leaves, leaves uh, some margin of error because if the price if the price goes like this just until here and then goes back the trade is simply cancelled we don't lose anything the trade wasn't even executed it didn't happen okay so this is the uh, this is uh, one type of strategy that we use and for my indicators for my indicators when i am looking at uh, sublime wave for example i'm trying to look for this type of formation so on the downside i'm trying to 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 look for waves that are getting smaller and smaller and that will eventually go on the upside as it did 
right here okay so this is this was like a clear indication of an entry right here um, so uh, yeah this is one of, uh, of the ways I use these indicators then of course we use volume indicators that are not on trading view and we use uh, an aggregated order book that shows us the buy walls and sell walls uh, that is on another PC I cannot stream it uh, yeah so this is uh, in short uh, in very short in a very short description this is how uh, we use indicators uh, another question was um, if I could check AGA okay let's check AG First of all, starting with the Fibonacci retracement. Okay. Still bullish, of course. Not even. I will. I will do it. However. Okay. to one hour so we got a good pattern right here that can say continuation of course very nice very nice very nice setup right now for this one a very nice setup for uh, ADA only thing that bothers me it uh, is that it's too close to the 078 so we need just close a uh, candle above it and then I can really I can even post a signal on it and the potential would be something like this okay something like this let's check on higher time frames nothing back So for now, this is what I can project. It's uh, not an amazing trade, but it's a doable trade. It looks good. It just um, I think we just need to we need to wait for the candle to close right here on uh, one hour. So we need a, a good one hour candle to close above uh, above this level. So the 0 0.78, and then we can think about having this uh, this trade it's a possibility it's a good possibility just want to check theta in the meantime because I see that Bitcoin is still uh, is still in the range right here okay maybe it can come back if it closes above we need to rethink our strategy yeah we'll go back to that later Nice. This one is looking nice also. Only thing that bothers me right now is that basically almost every coin right now is in this type of formation. This type of formation. So yeah, we have a breakout right now. It can go to to point uh, to the resistance right here. To this area, I think this area is doable. Another potential right here would be okay. Let's wait for a trace. This would be a good trade right here. <laughs> 
let's let's check the hull moving average you guys have it on uh, the drive please use it you have instructions on how to add it to your uh, trading view account please use it it's a very good indicator <coughs> i will just um, describe it really quickly for those who didn't uh, get to see the previous videos or streams or didn't check the description so basically it has like three colors on the main EMA it has uh, four colors sorry so it has uh, yellow which it means uncertainty or uh, sideways market it has uh, dark green which means uh, high, um, uh, high uh, of um, a very strong uptrend it has light green which means the beginning of an uptrend or the the existing uh, uptrend is just losing uh, momentum and of course it has red and uh, red and uh, light red pink for uh, red showing a strong downtrend and uh, light red showing the beginning of a downtrend or the weakening of an existing downtrend so right now we don't see any uh, we only see the green and uh, the beginning of uh, of the yellow zone which means that we are getting weaker in the overall trend so it can be confirmed with the with the market so we have grown until right here and then we are going sideways um, so basically an entry strategy for this uh, the entry strategies are described in the drive on uh, on the whole moving average uh, indicator but basically what you would need to have is to have uh, um, an RSI uh, above 50 or in the 50 area an RSI in the 50 area the price the price action should be above the um, above the the EMA that is getting colored for the whole EMA and it should be above the 200 EMA this is the 200 EMA the price action should be above this also the EMA ribbon should be opening to the upside so in a green uh, in a green color so if you get this if you get these four uh, conditions you can go enter along in uh, basically any time frame you want uh, unless it's one minute one minute is too fast and you won't really get uh, really pertinent results with this uh, with this strategy so it's a strategy on its own Hull moving average is a strategy on its own and you can use it as um, uh, on their own basically okay let's go back to BTC see what's doing <coughs> yeah we just need to wait we just need to wait so yeah, for now on bigger time frames it seems to be respecting what I said yesterday uh yeah as i said be careful i think it will stop here i think the the maximum we could go right now is here <coughs> unless unless we have news unless we have more bullish news but it's getting scary right now really really scary so for uh, for positions that are not scalps it's really really scary <laughs> Okay, so let me check. Uh, someone said, let me check CVC. So this coin didn't really pop on my radar lately. Uh, it can be a good uh, buying opportunity. Let me check the averages. So yeah, we had a lot of... Uh... <laughs> so it went for two months in a, in a range and then it exploded. Okay, let me just set. Waiting, 
I think we can establish a base right here. I think this one is a base. Let's just start with the Fibonacci and see what it does. Okay, looking promising, so we have a base. The price action is just on the 0 0.5. Okay, so uh, as uh, I have told you uh, multiple times, um, when a price, when the price is uh, on a certain side of the 0 0.5, so one side, the other side, okay, it usually continues in that side. So being that we have a base, plus uh, the 0 0.5 that is actually acting as a resistance, as a, as a support, sorry, also. We can assume safe uh, with almost good certainty that it can retrace from here unless Bitcoin decides to dump, which will, uh, of course, invalidate everything that is uh, right here. So every support, it won't take any support into account. So I think we can have a very good entry right here, basically. Very good entry. This would be a 4.56 R trade. A very good one. However, we should do it, take a lot of profit right here in our whole position because uh, very scared. I I am very square scared uh, of this guy because uh, it reacts. It reacts to price very very well. So yeah, this is a this is a very good potential trade right here. Good potential trade, but as I repeat, Bitcoin. We need to to check what the big guy is doing because it can invalidate all of our uh, altcoin TA really really quickly. <laughs> for the trace just checking the volumes on another uh, screen red dot here we know that we are going lower <laughs> so we can we can try to entry then guys we are waiting for Bitcoin to go down so let's use this time <laughs> This is still possible for me. This is still possible. So we hit uh, TP2 on it, which is good. Um, yeah, so it's. Uh, this one is tricky. This one is tricky because it has a lot of uh, external influence from, uh, from how DeFi. Um, 
how DeFi acts also. <laughs> so there's a lot of money going into DeFi. The project is looking great. The only issue being the transaction fees. But uh, this is a small issue compared to the positives. I think this this uh, this coin has a lot of potential. And I frankly I see it in three months at uh, 3k. 3k 3k for Ethereum is very very possible in three months. <coughs> very possible. We are looking strong. This is a consolidation phase right here. This is a consolidation phase right here, and we can go up from here. And when we go up, when we try to break here, we will have a leveraged trade on it because it will confirm the price leaving the this area and I have the I could have like a potential trade like this and I have some base for my stop loss this is the most important thing when I'm posting signals this is the most important thing for me is to provide a good base for the stop losses uh, usually I don't use stop losses but in the risky market we are in right now it is like you, you cannot do it without a stop loss you cannot do it without a stop loss it's impossible your the, the downside if you let me let me just go to the to the lower so on the 12 hour it's not looking very good it's looking um, well these types of candles are are bullish but uh, from two bullish candles we can have a big fat red candle that can uh, can basically engulf these two and from here from here if you go to down if we go down guys we need a fucking parachute you know this is why it is very important to have stop losses when you are in a um, in a range and you can establish a mean like here or here you can allow um, your trades to, to to be without a stop loss however you need to check them but um, here without a stop loss no way no way I know that stop losses eat your uh, your positions little by little but guys prefer to be uh, to have your your uh, your, your um, account just eaten by stop losses small uh, small bit by small bit than to have like a huge drop and lose everything or you can isolate isolate just trade in leveraged isolated it's the same thing the only difference is that you get a mail from Binance or wherever you trade saying that your position is liquidated <laughs> that's a whole difference it acts like a stop loss okay so let's go back <laughs> okay so small rejection right here going back into the channel <laughs> and now we will hit we will hit our first entry our second entry and then hopefully it goes down all all the way back to here and we can maybe average down to here this would be nice so if we average down to 39500 ish would be very nice <laughs> and we will add uh, as uh, with the price we will follow the price down So guys, please questions. Let's uh, let's make uh, uh, this waiting time worth it. Wh whatever questions you have, just ask. Doesn't matter if it's uh, basic or advanced. Let's just do it. <laughs> Don't 
dominance right now. Amazing. Insane. Insane. <laughs> Sorry, what was, what's meaning about this turn? It's insane. For the dominance, also I wanted to say this, I forgot. Uh, we have a threshold that uh, if passed, we... So, let me just write it so it's clear. So right here, BTC territory. Okay. When we pass to the low side, So when Bitcoin decides to drop, and we pass this threshold to the downside, this is altcoin territory. So this is where your altcoins paired with BTC will start to grow. Okay. We need to wait. We need to wait and see what happens with this one. So CME is looking amazing. CME is looking amazing. No wonder. Okay, so question, uh, can you talk about the effect of mining on tech stocks if you get time? So <clears throat> if you mean like NVDA, so the stock for NVIDIA, of course, they have, um, let's check it, let's check it really quickly. So basically, they this is a, a very cycled-based market for uh, Nvidia, uh, like the car manufacturers, except Tesla, which is uh, acting like crypto right now. And thank God I have entered my first Tesla position like four years ago, and I don't regret it one bit. Uh, so this kind of stock uh, is very cyclical and it depends on um, on the on the ma announcements it uh, makes and on the market uh, demand on their products um, so they have had a lot of increases when they launched the last um, what's called uh, the th uh, 3080 or something like that I don't know their last um, premium sector I think it is uh, and then of course it speculated and it was uh, sold back down then right now as you see they have um, they have had a negative surprise in uh, in their estimations so this incurred some uh, some sell-off we have some sell-off again uh, Basically, I don't have the fundamental analysis ready for Nvidia, so I so I could uh, give you the the full uh, the full analysis on uh, on this uh, stock. I would need to to do it in order to reply. But I know that it is very cyclical. I don't trade it, or I don't have any positions in it right now. Uh, however, it's a good overall stock that can uh, see a lot of increases. Uh, mainly because it is heavily influenced by the crypto miners also so miners are buying all the stock I know I have been there so in 20, uh, 2016 and 17 I had a big mining farm and I had GPUs and ASICs also and I can tell you that getting GPUs was the biggest headache 
for acquiring something I've had in my life. Okay, so I basically bought all my GPUs like all over the world. Everything I could, I bought. And uh, yeah, the market was was insane. So uh, back then, the the um, the top dog was the um, thousand, uh, so 1080, I think 1080 Ti. And they were selling sometimes at the premium of uh, two to three thousand dollars per GPU. So it was insane. It was insane. So yeah. But that uh, mining for me is done. <laughs> so trading is uh, trading is the thing you should consider if you consider mining because mining is uh, has a lot of downsides. I know I have done it at the large scale. And I know everything that you you every problem you encounter with mining. So keep your money, your um, your uh, your GPU investments should be instead invested in. Uh, in direct crypto and you will have profits you just need to take your time <laughs> and um, and wait basically just DCA your way in to for your uh, long-term holds DCA in you can even buy here you don't mind it doesn't matter there's no you are not you are never late to this part you are never late bitcoins are getting scarcer so people don't people are willing to pay more for them so you are not wrong if you buy here you are not wrong if you buy here you are right if you buy lower of course but you are never wrong okay so DCA your way in and you have DCA means dollar cost averaging and you have two ways of doing it either you do it by time so every day at 10 o'clock I put a reminder of my on my phone and I um, and I buy, I don't know, for thousand dollars or every, I don't know, whatever you want. Or you can do it by percentage. So every 5% I buy a little more. Every 5%, every drop for 5% I buy, I buy a little more. And then I add to my portfolio. And then I keep it for at least six months and I see what happens. So you, you shouldn't be like scared if, you, if your whole portfolio goes to minus 50 for a while it will go back up right now we have a pr the proof that the highest high is around here so when you buy below it you are not wrong basically futures is different we need to trade them differently because with the leverage we could not possibly support a 50 percent drop even if we are a hedge fund so uh, how do you like to choose a leverage amount uh, depends of what type of trading I am doing. Uh, we are basically hitting the first entry. Um, there are several types of trading you can do. There are, um, if you are very, very sure on your, um, on, uh, on the price returning, you can try to leverage high and with a low amount. For example, right here, you can go like 70X with, uh, I don't know, $30. You lose $30, but if the price goes in your favor, you win a lot more. Okay. I had I had a lot of good trades done like this, and uh, this is what I call couch trading, because usually I do this when I'm on my couch watching Netflix and I'm not enjoying what I see on Netflix, so I'm trading. <laughs> so yeah, and then you have the, um, the setups. So setups are uh, trades that I post in uh, on Telegram, okay. And on these trades, we have a different optic. Our optic, our main, our main job is to protect our capital, okay. So this will uh, be the respect of the first rule of trading: never lose or lose as little as you can, okay. And then we. Uh, Basically, if you see another, if you, if you see on other uh, signal providers, you will see a lot higher percentages of wins. This is just because they use high leverage. If we want consistency, if we want consistency, we want to have a level-headed approach to our position. And for me, this means never exceeding 20x. Okay, 
so we never exceed 20x if um, for example uh, let me just take an example right here to find the setup. Okay, let's say, for the sake of argument, this is a, not a good setup, but it's a possible setup. Okay, so let's say we have this, we have this uh, risk-reward ratio to 0.26 to 1, okay, and my stop-loss is 1.62. I can, in this case, because my stop-loss is not very big, it's only 1% and 1.6%, uh, 1, 1 I can allow myself to trade on 15, 15 to 20 x. Okay. However, if I have a big, if I have a big uh, take profit and a big stop loss, a bigger stop loss. I mean, let's say I have this as a take profit, and I have this as a stop loss. Okay. So the stop loss right here would be 5%, 5.38. With this setup, I would never exceed 15x. I would probably do it like 5x, uh, 5 to 10x, okay? So 5% uh, multiplied by 10, I would lose 55%, okay? Of my traded amount. So this is risk management. Imagine you enter like on, um, like on uh, alt signals. They go on 100x uh, often, okay? Imagine you enter 100x right here. And just stop loss, which happens. It happens to every signal provider. It happens to every trader. You go to the stop loss, so you lost 538 percent of your initial amount. Okay, so it's insane. It's, it's not. I don't know. For me, it's, it doesn't make sense. To they do it because it shows big numbers and people like big numbers, but. But uh, you will see, if you are new, you will see that consistency is more important and uh, risk-reward ratio is more important than having a high leverage. I'm kind of tired of saying that this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So uh, this is how we pick our leverage. <laughs> so it's just sideways right now. Uh, We got our first. We got our first order executed. <laughs> and guys, you, you can play with this uh, with uh, when you are on the five, uh, 15 minute, five minute, and one minute uh, time frames. You can play with high amounts because you are there and you are watching your position, and you will not l let it. Uh, uh, run, uh, run uh, way out of your uh, comfort zone, and you can play with uh, with high amounts right here. It's no problem. Just don't use high leverage because your uh, whole setup can be um, can be uh, messed up with your liquidation prices. Okay, so just check your liquidation prices also every time. <laughs>
So I'm gonna add another one. Uh, Thirty-nine eight hundred. If you have two prepared at all times, it's okay. And then when you get your your entry, then you can even stop loss if you want. Just the the main idea is to have uh, to obtain what you want. Right now, I want an entry about right here, and I know I will be available for the next I don't know how long you are available. And you uh, you watch your position. If you need to run and do something else and you see that the chart allows it you will do it if you need to if you need to leave your pc for uh, longer you should uh, consider just closing your position even if it's in a negative uh, pnl <laughs> so right now i am aiming for uh, for an average around here if i can get it lower awesome if i can't no problem the only downside with uh, this type of trading is, is that it is uh, time consuming and uh, yeah but it's fun it's like a game trading is like a game anyway educated gambling <laughs> If you have if you have questions guys ask away here So, uh, BTCV and gold. Yes, gold is the only thing that can be a potential hedge for 
Bitcoin and uh, when Bitcoin will drop and uh, maybe we will have a good short setup maybe we won't I don't know it depends on, on when it happens how it happens how fast it happens um, we will have uh, an FTX hedge on gold so this is the best way this is the absolute best way you can hedge and potentially take profit on the um, Bitcoin drop is to hedge on gold on FTX because on FTX you will use your BTC as collateral and you will profit from the gold moves okay so it's a very important uh, important trading uh, tool that we will use together So for the waves, uh, we are still working on um, on the full tutorial. It's a bit long because it, because it has a lot of um, it has a lot of um, of aspects and indicators. Um, basically, it has two parts. It has the chart part. This is not our sublime indicator. This is a similar indicator. Uh, basically it's the indicator that we picked and modified to our needs but it has the same symbols okay uh, this indicator was uh, created and uh, has been left in a shelf to catch dust and we just took it adapted it to our needs and now created an amazing entry tool so basically let me just run fast over it so you guys can know it I repeat, everyone in Sublime Traders has access to these two indicators, to the waves and the chart. In our VIP chat, the message is pinned in our VIP chat. You can check it out. You can uh, click on the links on the bottom uh, part of the trading view page. You can add it to your favorites and then you can use it as your own script. Okay, so this is free for every Sublime Traders uh, member right now. So basically we have multiple uh, small icons, uh, we'll just, uh, I will just present them really quickly. So uh, uh, blue triangle means reversal usually, uh, the yellow squares mean uh, bullish candles but you need to have multiple in order to confirm a trend. Everything that is red is bearish of course. The more red you have, basically, the more um, strength the downtrend has. Uh, I really recommend uh, you using them on uh, Heikinashi, um, Heikinashi um, uh, candles. It is way more pertinent and uh, more efficient. Uh, so yeah, then you have the green dots. So green dots, guys, green dots, if you go on the daily, you will see that the green dots are... Green dots are free money, basically. Look. Green dot. You see that? I'm on the daily and I have a green dot. Only thing I needed to do here is to evaluate the local area evaluate my potential losses, enter along and never look back. This is the main addition we have done to this indicator. So we have taken it, we have transformed it. This is the main addition we have done uh, on this indicator and look on the potential profit from the green dot, the last green dot we had on the daily. But it also needs patience, so you need patience. When you see a drop like here, you don't need to panic, you need to leave it. Very, very important. So as you can see, we don't have any, we don't have any, um, any red indicators right now. Still bullish, still going strong. <laughs> uh, 
so yeah what haven't I covered so yeah the bigger the red indicator the stronger the trend Heiki Nashi uh, we have the bottom part of this chart which is another indicator it's called sublime uh, wave indicator so sublime wave indicator has multiple uh, oscillators in it so you have it has stochastic it has RSI it has VWAP the yellow part the yellow area area it has the money flow red area green uh, green area is that um, money are getting into the market red area money getting out of the market and of course the waves one is leading one is lagging and by um, overlaying the two of them we get uh, a notional uh, right now in the moment uh, idea of what can happen <laughs> that's when you see on Heiki Nash candles I'm on 50 minute and it was right right now of course this one could be could have been a hit or miss because it's a it's a single wave usually usually we like to have um, waves that are getting smaller at least two so we have one wave right here another wave right here as you can see the small one and then it goes way up okay and we have of course the um, the green dot on the SA chart so sublime chart with the two of them we can have a pretty strong confirmation that the, the, the trend is going up so I repeat there will be a guide that will explain it um, uh, that will explain it thoroughly and you will understand it and if you don't you can ask me and I will answer but uh, in, in the general lines are here this is how it works it's not some mystery soup that I have concocted it's just uh, just indicators oscillators that are just arranged in a very smart way okay so this is everything there is to it for the for the indicators however we don't uh, we don't base our our signals on it only we all we as I said we track the volumes on the markets all the time so this is very very important to us to know the volumes and the order books how they are in the present time So a potential uh, potential move right here to the outside. We might never see my uh, average take place. It might never happen. However, this is why we put multiple multiple uh, entries. If we get one, it's okay, we take profit on one. If it goes down, if it goes against us, no problem. I will buy more and I will buy more. The only thing I need to care about is how much I buy and what leverage I am in and where do I get into trouble, okay? You need to know where, where are you out of your comfort zone? Are you out here? It's not good. If you're out here, okay, might be done even if it's uh, a, little, a little bit close you should be out of your comfort zone around here okay so if you are around here if you enter too high you 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 can be out of your comfort zone but you have all these tools that we have available like this one you can ask me you can ask the group uh, you have the scalping channel the scalping channel is running on a different algorithm it's not running on this it is a wholly different algorithm and the scalping channel does take in account the aggregated order book and it does take in account the volume 
So it's a different channel, a different strategy. We didn't want to use the same strategy for uh, for uh, for our uh, scalping signals. <laughs> and it's fully automated. So, um, um, explaining ETH uh, 3K, uh, ETH 3K is based only on um, on the proposition of vol value, it's not based on TA, because uh, TA doesn't really make sense on uh, high time frames right now, except if it's dropping. And when you are in discovery mode, you can just project. Let's just make a projection on ETH. On ETH. Uh, I'm just going to clear everything to make it look nice. Going to go on the daily. So for those who don't know, Fibonacci's are traced in two manners. Either you trace it from the top to the bottom, to the local bottom and you get a projection on the upside okay you get projection to the upside okay or you trace it the other way around and you get a projection to the downside like so okay so we are in a bull market and we are tracing it from the upside. Many of you asked me what am I basing my um, my long trades right now in discovery mode. This I am basing my trades on Fibonacci. This is the only thing I can base my trade my trades on on the chart. On the other side, as I said, I have the volume volume monitors that I use that we uh, that are our proprietary proprietary tools. Okay. But those are not really TA, uh, those are more like quantitative indicators that are not available for general public. Uh, so yeah, uh, going back to 3K, I think that um, this area is a potential take. For me, this area is a potential potential move for uh, for Ethereum right now, but is it is very very based on the fundamentals on uh, of Ethereum. It is very based on the fundamentals of Ethereum, and uh, it doesn't mean that the price will spike up in uh, in one move. It can hit all the important all the important levels. We have the the 61.8 right here uh, 272 is very important also so it can just zigzag its way like this you can even do this but eventually if it, it will go here okay so this is what I project of course because it is so far away my accuracy for this can be uh, can be kind of far uh but it will be of course it will be reevaluated when we hit uh, these levels so i can really reevaluate better and as uh, the closer i get the more precise i can get but for now this is a potential target for me and it deserves this ethereum is a coin that deserves to be uh, evaluated at a much higher price it is massively massively undervalued right now based on the fundamentals of it Bitcoin for me is massively overvalued but being that it is the king being that uh, everyone knows Bitcoin and being that the scarcity is there supply and demand issues are there it is just uh, normal that we get this kind of prices <laughs> So yeah, it exploded to the upside. No problem for me. I have entered. I didn't get to. I didn't get to. To obtain my my average at about this level, but I got filled on uh, on one take profit on one uh, entry, 
which is fine for me. Of course, uh, I repeat, this account is a test account. I use it for tests, and uh, this can be done on uh, real amounts that you can. Uh, of course, you need to calculate your uh, your amounts when you are trading. Think about the losses first, and then you think about the gains. Keep this in mind. Think about the losses. How much can I lose first? Then you think of how much can I win. Okay, very important. This is a very important mindset that you might have, that you need to have. Sorry. Uh, do I use only cross when I trade? No, I sometimes use isolated to um, to isolate trades. Basically, I isolate trades. So right now I have a level right here, and I will try to close at 41.48.3. Let's see if it works. If it works, good. If it doesn't, I think I will protect it with a stop loss 40, 90, 73. I have isolated my position right now, not in that manner, not with isolated uh, cross or isolated. I have just isolated the price, so right now whatever I do, I can go piss, I can go uh, ride my bicycle or something else, okay? I am still a winner, doesn't matter wh where the price goes. The only difference is that here I, I win just a bit more, okay? The position is a winner, only downside is that I didn't manage to get my average entry but it's okay because I'm positive so uh, I sometimes use isolated positions when I um, for example when I want to limit buy at uh, a dip and I am not available for example the price is around here and I think I want to buy around this level right here I might add uh, 25 to 30 40x position in isolated of course I will calculate my my entry so liquidation price is what I, I I want so let's say let's say I want to enter here so 38 let's say 38 entry price 38 quantity 0 0.5 with uh, 25 Uh, oh yeah, liquidation, sorry. So, 38. Zero point 0.5. I'm in isolated. I'm in one-way mode, I'm in long. And I want to enter at $38,000 with this amount. And my balance doesn't matter, I don't know if white Okay, so my liquidation price would be around this level, 38, 38.1, it's too far, I don't need this, so I can increase, I don't know why it does this, um, it's, it's isolated, why does it? Let's see my my. No, I don't know. I think it bugs. It wasn't supposed to do this. The calculation. The calculation is not done like this. It shouldn't take my whole balance for an isolated position. Scrap that. Um, basically, you have a margin. When you go in isolated, you have a margin. Okay. Let's say you you add. Forty dollars to your margin. You are in 25x. Your liquidation would be around here. This would be. This would coincide with your stop loss. Okay. So this is the only um, way I use isolated positions. So if my my liquidation price suits me as a as a stop loss, okay, I use it. it if not, I don't use it. It is very very simple. And I use it. Um, 
all the time to for uh, for um, knife catching like this. So price goes down, okay, it executes. I'm at uh, 25 leverage. I have a liquidation price around this level. Price goes up, okay, price goes down. I I am liquidated. I lose 30 dollars and that's all. Okay, this is the only time I use uh, isolated. If I have, as I said before, if I if I have a strong trend like here, I I've had a strong rejection, a retest with a with a higher low, so I have a higher low like right here. I can allow myself a cross position with a with a generous stop loss right here, or if I am available, I don't I don't use a stop loss at all. So right here I'm expecting a strong trend to continue. So this is basically the difference between uh, my isolated positions and uh, the cross positions. How to tell if BTC going to range mode? Well, you tell it while uh, you are in a range. <laughs> so basically after uh, a spike, so we have a spike, then we had a 7% drop. So let, let's just measure from here. I'm just measuring from here. So 10, 7, 8, okay. So 80% retrace, okay. Usually it can retrace uh, up to 80%, okay. If it does more, it means that the trend is reversing. Um, after a big spike like this one, I mean five minutes, but it applies to everything, every every time frame. After a big spike like this one, you will expect some sideways action. So you will take the highest high that you have. You will take. Let me just mark it. So you will take the highest high. And the lowest low. I will take this one because this one just happened. Okay, so I, I don't want to wait this much. I can take this also because this was the first lowest low, and then it was retested. We have established a base here. The base was broken, and right here we could have bought because everyone expected the price to go to bounce from here. But if we have bought here, we would have been uh, in profit right now. Okay. So I have a range, it leaves the range, then we need to reevaluate where is it going, if it bounces back into the range, then uh, yeah, this is kind of the range we are in right now. We can also take this, but it is too large, I think. If you apply this to one hourly, it is too large. Uh, one other thing, you can convert your scalps into long trades. So I'm on the 5 minute, let's pass on the 15 minute. If I would have managed to get here or here, okay, so here, the difference is not big, but if I would have, if I would have managed to get the, this, around this average, okay, I could have considered uh, transforming my scalp into a uh, longer term trade because right now in this situation uh, let me just mark it in this situation I have a double button a W pattern which has just broken out of the neckline so this is uh, an indication of, uh, of an uptrend so I can do this, but I am not low enough, so I'm just preferring to take profits right here. I can move my, my stop loss uh, just a bit lower, but really frankly, I want to get out of my position as soon as possible and uh, just reevaluate and re-enter when it's better. So yeah.
If you guys have questions, ask away. I think I'm going to end the stream soon. This is another trade that I'm following right now, <coughs> didn't post the signal yet, but it's prepared. I think it's in a very very good spot right now. DOC is in a very good spot right now, only issue is that it is paired with Bitcoin. So as long as Bitcoin continues to go up it will go down, but that's why I didn't post it yet. But um, the thing is, when Bitcoin goes down, you will see this signal and uh, it will perform I'm very very certain it will perform it is in a very very good buy spot in a very good buy spot right now uh, so dodge dodge uh, is going sideways a bit <laughs> data data also you have um, you have a signal for it already because it ha it has shown some um, some positives and that uh, allowed me to be certain that certain the most certain I can possibly be that the coin will eventually go up. It has already hit TP1 recently, which is nice. Nice profit for a non-leveraged coin. I think it was about uh, how much was it? 29% not too shabby for a non-leverage coin with a total potential of 280% okay which is nice very very nice we just need to wait it out I think this one would be like uh, one month two months hold but also same as doc Perfect, perfect buying opportunity. Perfect. Perfect. You cannot ask for more. You cannot really ask for more on this one. So for the guys that didn't see my son. I will just re-explain it really quickly. It's formed of... Um, supports and resistances trend lines that range from high the from highs to lows to peaks and that pivot on the middle of the chart and as we can see the middle of the chart looks like a huge looks like a huge w okay so very bullish in general very bullish in general and these raise these supports and resistances allow me to to have some confirmations on my local and on my 
long term Fibonacci levels and with this with the Fibonacci with our volume monitors with our uh, aggregated order book we we manage to provide the signals we do okay only issue right now is that we have <laughs> we have passed the last the last possible trend line and right now it's only Fibonacci until here it was Fibonacci and uh, and the trend lines right now it's only Fibonacci and the uh, volume monitors so it is very very risky so for now next target next possible target with a big resistance is this one with a 1.618 which is a projection I think yeah I think it would stop here I think it would stop here with a with some potential problems right here I don't know we will see So ING, let me check. Yeah, nothing special. Looks like the other ones. I don't really like these types of candles. Very difficult to trade. Maybe pair with BTC you met. Let me check the BTC pair. <laughs> Average, I would say. It has established a base right here with the potential to go up, of course, like the others that we have tested. We'll take this one as a resistance uh, yeah it seems right and uh, stop loss right here but yeah it depends on Bitcoin a lot this one depends on Bitcoin and it doesn't have as good as a uh, as good as an entry as a doc or uh, or data so that's why I would say it's average. In USDT I wouldn't touch it with a stick. In, uh, with BTC potentially, but um, yeah, we need to see uh, Bitcoin price first. In general, don't try to chase BTC pairs when Bitcoin is, uh, is uh, pumping. Don't. <laughs> So 85 to 90 percent drops in crypto. It's crypto. No one controls anyone on what they can do with their assets. If uh, 
if uh, Winklevoss or the big guys decide to sell, they can sell, no one can stop them. In stocks, they have regulations, they have to announce that they are going to sell, they have to, and everything is public. For example, if the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, decides to sell some of uh, his shares, it will be public and uh, everyone will know. Well, they don't. They won't have a heads up, but they will know when he does. Uh, and they have uh, contracts on how much they can sell per period. Okay, in crypto, no one is stopping anyone do anything. The only thing that is stopping them to sell right now is that Bitcoin for institutions is getting harder and harder to acquire, and. Um, they basically are fearing of missing out, you know. So any respectable hedge fund, family office, investment vehicle that wants to get into Bitcoin needs to get in ASAP. Doesn't matter the price, we are still at a good price right now. With the scarcity, Bitcoin will increase. It is getting difficult to mine, uh, increasingly difficult to mine, less and less on the market. However, they can decide to sell whenever they want and when you have funds you can do stuff like uh, let me try to find an example a recent example you can have wicks like this one let me explain so it's clear for you I have 500 I have 1 million dollars I'm an institutional and I want to manipulate this candle I will sell leveraged $500 on this candle and I will start a liquidation wave and I will base my liquidation waves estimations uh, around the support levels and of course they use uh, other quantitative um, trading methods like how uh, like as we do we follow volumes in real time and we follow aggregated order books so by having access to the order books you and having money you can manipulate the market these are the only two ingredients you need to manipulate the market okay so i'm selling five hundred thousand dollars leverage leveraged on 10x okay 100x doesn't matter doesn't matter this is just an example i will start the liquidation wave and i have done my estimations that the liquidation wave will end here now i said i had one million okay what happens to the other half the other half, I place it as buy orders at the end of the liquidation wave. So I fucked up all, everyone in this candle. I made profits. And here I buy and I make profits again and I fuck everyone up again. This is all you need to, uh, to manipulate the market. Money and uh, very good knowledge on the order book and the volume monitor. Not magic it's not like rocket science this is everything you need so right guys right now if you have this kind of uh, assets you can manipulate the market and uh, 85 to 90 percent drops can happen we are not regulated in any way uh, only regulation in crypto is that exchanges are forced to uh, kyc clients so they can be uh, uh, followed by the tax returns after okay uh, dodge uh, it has a lot of bull in it uh, but uh, right now uh, let me just recheck it right now yeah I saw it this morning it has a lot of bull in it uh, I am in in the long term with it with a small portion of my long-term portfolio not tradable in futures right now it has a lot of bull in it but it has a lot of bullshit also so uh, it will go sideways it can go back and then go up again it is a cyclical news related uh, asset that doesn't hold any intrinsic value to it it's just social media pumping it and uh, BTC price this is all so let's check what hap what's happening here okay I've closed it in a profit on the low side 
So I'm canceling my other orders. I'm canceling my take profits. The sequence is closed. I am reevaluating right now. I have a local high that is here and that can be considered as a resistance also. Only it's not a very it's not a very very good one. But it must be plotted. Okay. And I could potentially re-enter here and play this. Don't know. We need to wait for uh, for some action to happen. It can reject on the channel, so it can reject on this trend line, or it can go all the way back here. Ideally, back here. What I would do if I would continue, but I won't. What I would do if I would continue is I would start by placing an order around this level uh, and see how the price reacts. So I would wait for five to ten minutes. If the price rejects, then I would reevaluate here. If the price moves in this area, I wouldn't even bother because the the volatility is uh, too low. So this is how we scalp in general. Of course, I repeat, we are going to, if you want, guys, we can uh, start trading on ATAS together. Uh, a lot of good um, things on ATAS. We have a lot of tools that can help us. I have personally participated in the creation of the scalping module for ATAS. So basically I have helped create that tool for uh, for scalping. So yeah. Guys, I think I will end it here. If you don't have any questions, uh, thank you for uh, bearing with me for almost two hours. I hope you got some value out of this and uh, yeah. See you, see you on the chat and uh, see you on the next videos. Thank you.